If you want to know how we can go from this to this, that's what we're going to show you within today's video. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I am your main girl, Mel, curly hair stylist, curl specialist, and this is Mason. <laughs> hey, Mason, thank you so much for coming here on the channel today. Super excited we have a real human being here. With yeah. Gorgeous curly hair. Thank you for joining us today and allowing me to use you as our model to show these styling techniques for a little less volume and a little bit more elongation, Control. both when we're styling your tight curly hair, as well as diffusing to give a little bit more of a relaxed style. That is exactly the goal. So we've got lots of tips and tricks to share in today's video. Your hair is drying rapidly. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you told me how one of your biggest hair struggles is your shrinkage, right? Yeah. Especially, you know, your hair, it, it feels like it takes a long time for it to grow, mm -hmm. right? So we're really looking to accentuate the length that you do already have. The best way to get started with that is to make sure your hair is ultra moisturized, okay? So yeah. we've already gone ahead and cleansed and we deep conditioned your hair so it's super moisturized. The more hydrated your hair, the longer it's going to sit because of the weight of all that moisture is gonna help to stretch that curl a little bit. So that's the first step. Notice how I am sectioning her hair in horizontal sections. When you've got such thick, beautiful head of hair like this, we do wanna make sure that we are treating each hair as it should be. So we are gonna be sectioning at least in like three horizontal sections. So we have this area, which is called the occipital area. This is between the nape of the head and the backbone there. Not to get too technical on you, but that's that's what we're doing. So we're gonna start with this bottom section here and utilize our water. We're gonna use hydration. The be that's the best way to start your style. We start with hydration and we're gonna be layering a few different products today in order to get the results. I don't care what you say, there is just not one product that's gonna do it all for you, okay? There's not one magical product that will give you all of the results that you want but you can see and you will see what layering will do but automatically look what water just water alone it really gives her almost a completely different curl like it looks like mine when it's dry it's like 3b 3c but really you have around 4a hair not that we really pay attention to the curl chart the curl chart is really quite irrelevant um, it doesn't include all curl types you don't need to know what your curl type is in order to know what products to use. It's about what your porosity is. And so, your hair is more on the fine side, yeah. right? So sometimes fine hair can be very, very high porosity. It will literally yeah. absorb all products, including humidity. It does, it, it does that. And if your hair absorbs humidity, it's just going to expand out like this. So what we want to do is give oh, yeah. your hair- I'll put like product in and it's gone by like two hours. <laughs> we want to make sure we put all of the moisture that your hair needs right now. That way it won't need it from the humidity and the moisture out in the air. Yeah. And you'll be able to hold your style. So I'm going to start off. This is a leave-in conditioner spray. So we don't want to put anything that's too heavy or greasy in your hair. Yeah. This is really nice. This is Curl Smith's Moisture Memory Reactivator. It's actually a refresh spray, but I do love it as a leave-in. And you could definitely use this as like, as a touch up throughout the week when you need it. So I'm using that a little bit like a prep product, but then we're gonna go in with something a little bit richer. And there's this product, it's called the Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit more of that like emollient type of product. It's gonna help to lock in the hydration that we just got from our deep conditioner, the water that we sprayed. This is why we layer hell. <laughs> You already know. Okay, so I'm gonna take about this much per section. This is a very rich product, and you can always add more as you go, but you'd be surprised. Hair textures like this, especially because it is quite fine, it really it really doesn't need that much. And we're just gonna start to focus on the ends, but we wanna make sure that we do work up towards the root because we do wanna keep curl definition there. If we're only piling products on the bottom, the bottoms might be nice and like elongated, but then the roots are still curling up and look really poofy. We need to start that elongated foundation from the root. So we're gonna be doing a technique, a lot of people call it shingling, 
And that's a type of uh, technique that we're gonna be doing here where right from the root, we are really kind of squeezing the hair almost like a curl by curl, not finger coiling because that is gonna give you, that's gonna really shrink up the curl. We just wanna stretch the hair. And so in sections, I'm going to stretch the hair and I always wanna be pulling down. So I'm even gonna break this section up a little bit more in these horizontal lines here, right in at the root and stretch down. Really pull that curl downwards. Just repeating that motion, stretching down, squeezing the hair between my fingers, like I'm raking, rake and squeeze. Perfect. Now before I move on to the next section on your head, mm -hmm. I'm gonna add our gel now. This is the uh, Curlsmith In Shower Style Fixer. It's mm -hmm. to be applied on soaking wet hair, so nice and wet hair. Mm -hmm. If your hair is dry when you apply it, it will get very crispy. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be put on hair that is nice and wet. So I'll show you how much I am using. And I'm just gonna work that into my hands and again, smooth that over the curls that we just defined. Smooth it over, praying hands type of idea. Always smoothing downwards, especially your hair is a little bit curlier in the back, mm -hmm. especially right now because we're working through some, some heat damage in the front. It's totally fine. So we really want to make sure that we can help to stretch and elongate and set these curls so that they kind of match up to that length mm -hmm. in the front. So just praying hands over top of this. And we're going to continue to work up the head. We did just give her a trim, and so this is the first time we're styling it post-trim, but the curls look super juicy and yeah. defined already. Chunkier the curls, yeah. the more they're gonna clump together. Yeah. Otherwise, the more separation you have, the more volume you're gonna have, yeah. which is a beautiful look, just not the look yeah. that we're going for right here, right now. But Mason, tell me, uh, when you are styling your hair, what is your biggest struggle um, I guess, when, especially when you're styling your hair in its natural state, because I know you do like to go yeah. back and forth. Between stream and color. Um, I think my biggest struggle with the curls would actually get them to become curls, mm -hmm. right? Like, just to hold the hold the ringlet, right? It can get frizzy really quickly. Yeah. Again, if we don't provide it with that mm -hmm. hydration. Like already, so this section has been drying. You can see it's much poofier. Yeah. Uh, the curls aren't as defined. The reason why we work in sections is because I really do not want to mess with all the progress that we've already made below. So I'm basically working in like these circles around the head. Mm -hmm. Like I'm working around sections like this, rows, if you will, that are horizontal. I personally, when I'm styling my hair because I want volume, I will work in vertical type of sections because that will give me more volume, a little bit more movement, because here we want the hair to be a little bit flatter, a little yeah. lay closer to the head. We want to take horizontal sections like so. And going in again with our water. So we'll just continue with spray bottles, it just yeah. won't stop. It just won't <laughs> stop. And sometimes I will brush it through as well, just to help distribute everything. Do you style your hair soaking wet? Is it really wet when you style? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also like you said about the roots. It's always like my roots that get like puffy more so than the rest of my hair. So what's happening is really your mm -hmm. hair is not quite long enough yeah. to come into a curl. So it's yeah. growing out curly, but it's growing out like it you know, has it hasn't come yeah. around full circle just yet. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah, it's important to reach for the stars, the tricky part is we really don't want to be applying product on your scalp. Yeah. We want to get close to the root, but not on the scalp. It can be a little bit tricky. Going in again with our cream. Mm -hmm. The scalp health is most important, especially if you've been trying to grow out your hair, and that is our long-term goal. Mm -hmm. All right, this is gonna be a journey. We are working towards getting Mason nice, healthy, long, natural hair that she can still wear however she wants, no feet style what have you, without sacrificing the curl pattern and also maintaining length. So these are things that over time will get better and better, but you might notice by the time we are done here that this side of her head 
the side of your head was where there was a little bit more damage. This is the side of her head that she sleeps on. So Mason, what have we recently learned? That there's lots of damage towards this side because of the pillows. The pillows? That I've been using. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and so what have we done now? We now have a bonnet <laughs> and we now have silk pillow pillow sheets. Pillow sheets covers? I would get complete sheets, but I think I'd slide right out of bed. Yeah. So the pillowcase <laughs> yeah. is like the bare minimum. A bonnet if you can take having that on your head. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can. Mm -hmm. But um, it really truly makes such a difference because without her even telling me that this is the side she sleeps on, yeah, I already knew. knew because there were so many more split ends and breakage and it was a little bit shorter. So you take a look at the before, the back of your head, oh. which is obviously very curly and much a little bit healthier than the, than the front of your head. It was even, it was much more shrunken as well, right? Yeah. If you wanted to find them a little bit extra, again, especially because these bits are a little bit more damaged, we might just give a little, a little finger coil, a little twirl, just to help define the shape and pulling downwards. Yeah. Pulling downwards so that at least the root will not be styled, be styled outwards. It won't have as much volume. Yeah. Again, we want to lay everything nice and close to the head. So when you are doing this on yourself, you know, it's very much so like a raking motion. If you want to try, would you like to? Yeah, sure. you know, it's up to you. I mean, sometimes it's, it's best for me to see where you might be going wrong and that way yeah. we can troubleshoot and correct that. So I'm gonna let down this section. I'm gonna take a little section at the front here mm -hmm. for you. So let's see, you have everything you need right here. <laughs> and, and this is boot camp. I'm here for you. Boot camp, all right, I have to like, all right. Step one, Step done. One, done. Beautiful. <laughs> Looks nice and wet and hydrated. Yeah. The next step. The next step leave. would be your leave-in, which is gonna add humectants to your hair. This this product is rich in glycerin. It's a humectant. It helps to draw moisture into your hair. It's gonna keep your hair moisturized longer. Now we're gonna go into more emollients, and we've got the oil cream. Okay, oils are gonna help to lock everything in. That is up. that is generous. Oh, that is good. That's that's good. Okay. That is beautiful. It's a small section I grabbed here, but that's okay. it's fine. Very good. And get a nice firm grip there, you know. And then right in the root, rake. How does how's the product feel on yeah, your hair? It feels soft. Because yeah. you've never used this before. Yeah. So what I will do when I'm doing like this like rake and squeeze motion. Yeah, you just want to like. Right. Yeah. Is that, am I, I doing? mean, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. So just rake right up from the root and go all the way down to the end. I'm gonna spray just a touch more water there for you. This is also your trouble area, yeah. right? Because this area is a little bit more on the damaged side. But that's it. Yeah, you don't have to go over it a million okay. times. Like once you you rake it, yeah. it's good. Once it's like you've distributed the product, you smoothed it down. It doesn't have to take that long. Like yeah. I would say. Depending on how thick your hair is, I mean, we, get, we are having this section, but as we go through it, um, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't take that that long. You should be good. That's perfect. Good, good amount there. We'll show, show the camera. A little, small little dollop. A little bit goes a long way with this, but again, this is like the most important product to be putting on to yeah. keep, keep that style nice and stretched and elongated. And so we don't have to rake this through. This one's a little bit more like a praying hand. So we want to coat the hair, coat those clumps with, with the gel. Just like that. Perfect. We've already done a lot of the smoothing and yeah. like the raking through. So it's really just like layering it on. And that's good. You can wash your hands. If she can do it, anyone can. can do it. But I'll let you relax for the rest of the appointment as I go through. Yes. And work <laughs> up the head. And then we'll talk about diffusing. Let's see where the hair wants to part it. Look mm -hmm. forward. One of the best ways to find your your hair parting is kind of just brushing back and honestly just like shaking shaking the hair forward. Like I know you have a lot of volume in the roots, but yeah. it's still in there. And I'll see see how it, it naturally like there's a line here. Yeah. Like that's where it wants to part. It's just like yeah. it's kind of center, kind of off but center. Yeah. I feel like every time I see you, your hair is pretty much parted in the middle. Yeah. I can see your roots are getting light. Like I guess yeah. like the dark color is kind of fading out. Yeah, it's growing out or so. I don't know. Maybe it's fading. A little bit of both. The pool lightens it. The sun yeah. lightens it. Well, I don't naturally like have 
like dark brunette reddish hair. Mm -hmm. That's my natural color. But mm -hmm. like I just like always dyed it black. I like when when the hair's a little bit lighter, you can see more of like oh, the curls. The yeah. curls. It's true. It's like I had um a nice like ombre and I dyed it. I don't know, I think maybe that's why my hair breaks as well. Because I've been dying it. I mean we're gonna have to talk about the type of color that you use because when you are going darker with your hair, mm -hmm. there's no need to use permanent hair color, oh. which is what can, like, especially repeat with repeated use, yeah. can be damaging on the hair. All you need is demi permanent. Demi permanent is gonna help add shine. It's gonna give you that darker color because you're just going darker. Yeah. Permanent colors, if you need gray coverage, you need to go a little bit lighter. Things like that, but mm -hmm. especially if you're using like box color, like that's yeah. it's them it's permanent color. Yeah, it's permanent color and it's pre-formulated for like gray coverage, so it can be really harsh on you know especially someone like you who doesn't need like gray coverage. You know, yeah. like you're just looking to add a little bit of darkness to your hair. So that's why that's one of the reasons why box color is just not it's no bueno. It never looks like the swatch. Yeah. <laughs> like, how can it look like that there and then it looks different here? Yeah, yeah. Like that's colored, like the little swatches you see in the store, that's on like yeah, white hair. Like that's on like a little white hair swatch. Mm -hmm. So it's very different from what it's actually on your head. And so the reason why we're not just using the brush as well, mm -hmm. sometimes the brush can really like give a lot of spring back to the hair. It's almost yeah. like the ribbon effect of when you use scissors on, on a ribbon to uh, curl it. Mm -hmm. The tension will really help the curl to bounce back. And so it can be a great technique to use on my hair when I want to accentuate curl. Mm -hmm. um, and it can really give beautiful curl, but it will also encourage shrinkage. Yeah. So we can use the brush just to like, you know, brush through the product. Mm -hmm. But then when we're going in with our fingers, we want to just squeeze and rake the hair downwards. And that's going to help to let it sit down instead of like springing right back. Yeah. Looking beautiful. Now we're gonna just focus on the front face framing there. Yes. Like uh -huh, it's it so much more effective doing a little bit at a time, going through each section, a little bit of product on each section, then putting a glob of product in your head and slapping it through, yeah. especially on thick hair like yours, you're just not gonna be able to get it everywhere yeah. it needs to be. Mm -hmm. So it might seem like it's a lot of product. And I mean, mm -hmm. we're being very yeah. consistent. Like we're, we're being thorough, we're putting, a good amount of yeah. product everywhere, but this is gonna last you. Like this yeah. should last you a week, yeah. you know? Especially with proper care overnight. Mm -hmm. Just be gentle on the hair so it should hold the style quite well. It's already looking amazing. <laughs> We're gonna start drying now so we can set it that way. Cause if we let it air dry, it will want to shrink up. I was just speaking to Mason about the blow dryer that she uses. And so I wanna show you how you can use your diffuser attachment to get the results that you want. However, if you have a Dyson at home and you also have this wide tooth comb attachment, you can also use this attachment for your elongating curly hair blow dry. But I wanna use what you have. I want you to be able to achieve these results at home. So I'll show you how to do it using your diffuser bowl attachment. This is the diffuser. And we're also going to keep a wide tooth comb handy. Okay. This is gonna be our anchor because okay. the number one thing that we don't wanna do when diffusing our hair is touch it. What you may have been doing in the past when you are diffusing your hair is doing this motion. Yeah. If you're doing this motion, you're really gonna encourage shrinkage, yeah. which is the opposite of what we want. So what we wanna do is make sure we're drying from the top down and drying everything downwards, smoothing downwards. It's gonna to help to lay the cuticle like nice and smooth. It's gonna dry the roots towards the ends uh, and keep everything nice and flat and elongated. You do wanna dry the scalp. Yeah. You wanna make sure the scalp is dry. So that's why we don't just go in scrunching. We wanna make sure the scalp is dry first and then really just go in and focus on, on the ends. Reason why I'm staying far away and really hovering, like this is a good, almost a foot away, is just so that I'm not burning the scalp, right? And I'm still, when using this blow dryer, there's still a lot of high pressure that's gonna help dry the hair without having to go right up against the hair, which is gonna be damaging, and also um, blow that definition apart. We really wanna maintain this gorgeous definition that we've got going on here. I never wanna focus on one section for too long. Yeah. I really wanna make sure that we're going evenly, 
Again, also not burning the scalp, but yeah, taking your time going through. How's it looking? I like it. It looks good. <laughs> Very controlled. How would you describe how it feels right now? Um, soft. It's but soft. But in controlled. Controlled. <laughs> yeah, soft, controlled, and like you don't feel the gel yet. It has such a hold. You can feel that it's holding the hair, but mm -hmm. it really, it doesn't look crispy yeah. and it doesn't feel like super, super crunchy and dry. Like the hair is ultra moisturized right now. And yeah. so just to soften that out, just the touch, I'm going to take a tiny bit of a, an oil. Mm -hmm. So this is, this one is from Twist. And honestly, this step is optional because your hair, like you said, it feels soft. Like you could keep all of this in if you yeah. really wanted to. Cause it's just gonna give you even even longer lasting yeah. hold. But just for a little extra softness to finish it. Notice how I'm not fluffing it out, which is something yeah. that we tend to like, especially me, I'm, I'm fluffing, at this point I would be fluffing my hair out mm -hmm. for volume. But for you, like we just want to smooth yeah. and, and leave it. Stretch those ends, keep everything nice and tucked in. And it's like, how? Did you get your hair to lay this way? I'm gonna remove these little clips that we place just at your roots here to keep those those bangs in place. And give us just like a little little shake. That's it. Look, go off, go off. Look at you, oh my God. It looks so good. I love it. That what do you do. think? It looks longer than when you came in. Take a look at this before and after. Holy crapola, what a difference. <laughs> um, you can see that it uh, has moisture to it. You can definitely oh, see that. Oh, she is quenched. <laughs> and on that note, thank, thank you, you for being my model in the chair today. And thank do you, you, you for achieve, doing it. Do you think you can achieve these techniques at home on yourself? Yeah, 100%. It's pretty yeah, easy. I mean, yeah. you'll, you'll be able to watch back this tutorial right yeah. here on that note. I hope to see you next week on our new video as we post new videos on this channel each and every texture tuesday so why don't you go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what else you would like to see give mason a big thumbs up on this video as well <laughs> thank you and that is all my pleasure <laughs> all right peace, peace. <laughs> my clips <laughs> where's the spray bottle where's the spray bottle You're uh, probably gonna see some bloopers where I was dancing. <laughs> I, that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see.